Hello guys, welcome back. Well, another tutorial how to flash the stock LG firmware on your beloved LG phone. Over here, I got two LG device. This is a LG V50 ThinQ, and this one is LG. GRX the flash the stock firmware are very simple very straightforward but the most important is the tool and the driver we only need one driver the LG mobile driver WSQL this is the version, the latest version, 4.5.0 as in the website this is from the, I think, Vietnam the older LG app are like this this is the one I used before but seem this one a bit troublesome sometimes it detects, sometimes it don't so we use this uh, LG flash tool by the Vietnamese I already tested the tools it works perfect very simple to use so first thing your bootloader on the phone must be using the stock bootloader this one is a uh, engineering bootloader this one for install custom ROM or you want to install Windows on your phone you need this uh, engineering bootloader uh, replace the stock bootloader so always back up your stock bootloader that's a must at least one uh, partition the A slot A because the slot B are the same as the slot A this is the backup for G8X this is the latest under 12 this is the oldest one actually it's the same doesn't matter alright first thing over here device manager oh too small maybe I need to increase it a bit 200 because my monitor are 2k monitor big monitor 29 inch right over here nothing connected so my device already in a stock bootloader and the driver only one the tool you don't need to install just run it because the tool are standalone tool only one driver LG450 right first we need to off the phone to enter the download mod power off I flash buff one don't worry V50S B L G G at S G at X same procedure same tool except the KDZ are different your stock firmware for my LG G8 egg oh, not over here it's over here this is the candidate the latest one uh, G8 egg make sure you get the correct one this is mine you get the correct one you just enter your IMA here 
key in your IMEH, your phone number IMEH and check check it and they will introduce you the correct firmware for your phone according to your region of the phone the IMA alright the phone already off and the tool I already compile all of this inside uh, one folder this is a sample this is the engineering bootloader the LG app LG app tool and this is the driver you need to install first connect a phone hold the volume uh, we we'll start with the LG P50 hold with uh, hold the volume plus volume plus volume minus hold volume plus connect your cable this is the download mode your PC will detect it as a LG Android Net USB serial port. If you don't see this thing, maybe ex exclamation mark that's the uh, yellow triangle. You run the driver. Run this driver and after that it will install the driver for the pawn. Right? My tool uh over here see the tool already detect COM port 4 COM 4 this is the port this one don't disturb it uh, leave it as default and the KDZ file for the this is LGP50 my file are inside my backup this is the backup this Is it over here? Oh, no, sorry. It's inside my desktop. Do it slowly. This is the SKT model. My other model, LG for the RB50. I got two LG B50 actually. Highlight it and open. This is your uh, file location. That's it. Port file location. Your device detected as this USB serial port, and then flash. It will restart a couple of times, just be patient. You see the flashing here, it start running. Wait until it say finish. Don't plug off the cable first, until it finish it will reboot a few times this is LG B50 GRI also the same you must learn how to flash the 
stock LG firmware if you want to play with the uh, Windows 11 on your phone because if you make a mistake on your phone and the uh, partition well you do something wrong with the partition all the partition are gone and this is the only way to restore all the partition back same as other device flash tool the only way but for Xiaomi device the newer device you can flash the Xiaomi ROM via flash uh, fastboot or EDL because they lock it you need to have an authorized account for the older phone like the Poco phone F1 that one they didn't lock and only the newer one that come with the new bootloader so like the Poco X3 Pro X3 NFC make mistake with your partition if your device is brick then the answer is Xiaomi service center if the service center not available near your area so you get the online service from whoever you can trust but for LG phone well very easy this is the way nothing to worry once you break it this is the way the flash to enter the Qualcomm EDL mod that's one you need a QFIL tool that tool also can flash uh, stock firmware but not recommended only if you want to flash a certain image let's say the boot image your bootloader image you want to replace with the engineering bootloader so you use the Q fill the phone reboot at 78% just now just leave it there until finish don't disturb it actually the tool will detect if you use the wrong KDZ it will reject it same as the old tool the LG up the old one this one also detect wrong KDZ it will reject unless the region are not yet finished at three percent it's still flashing actually now it's checking the the firmware that are being flashed it check C2 now diagnostic port this is the serial port we flashing this is the diagnostic why because it try to detect any problem with the firmware flashing actually this is a good tool thank you to the team maybe this one is a custom tool 
from Vietnam. Not yet. Now it's checking. Checking the firmware. See, it restart. Don't disturb it until it finished. Then you can plug off the cable. This time it's checking for the more the boot loader, I think. Two port there, diagnostic port actually. Now verified, verified, finish already, finish flash. Now you can plug off to the setting English English right now the second point LG G at X also hold the volume plus connect the cable remember to use your stock bootloader if you use the engineering bootloader use the Q-Fill tool use this tool to flash back the stock bootloader right we need another candidate for this LG g -Eric. No, it's not there, it's over here. Why? Where I put my LG... Yeah, hold on. Because I got too many files. Here, yes, it should be on the home. G at X. Oh, sorry. See, I make mistake. Not DLL. KDZ. This one be 50. That's a bad mistake. Don't change the DLL mm -hmm. it's all one this is the latest one Android 12 ok GRX this is the file flash you see two devices already flashing in one video setting setting flashing setting flashing bpts also use this tool maybe some other LG device you can try this one com 7 just num just now com 4 <laughs> Same port also. SP serial port. DLL default. KDZ only. Change this one just now. Uh, why I click over here? So.
compared to the older tool the speed of flashing more or less only the older tool a bit uh, not user friendly the interface that's why I removed that uh, tool because the other day one of you give a comment in the YouTube ch asking for the G8 yes this is the tool except for repairing the IME that one you have an to use another tool QFill that's one I never try so I'm not going to do a tutorial for repairing IME Get egg restart. That's why I love to use a custom ROM co compared to the LG ROM because this lot way. At egg restart, it's checking the firmware now, the software. There will be a two another diagnostic mod. Maybe it try to diagnose your firmware. How easy, how easy to do it now. It is not direct, direct mod. Wow, oh, this one only one pot. How come the LGB fifty? Pot <laughs> just now. After this, another restart. Just hold on. Still checking the eighty nine per cent. How to replace the ah, finish? See. How to replace the engineering bootloader? For installing window, for installing TWRP, because you need the bootloader to flash the UFI image. So, let me do the setting. This model is a US model, not America.
at the moment we don't have the bootloader because the stock ABL the stock bootloader LG removed the the capability of the bootloader to flash to your partition the boot partition the system partition for installing a custom ROM that's why we need a engineering bootloader after this I'll show you how to flash This one a bit better compared to the LG P50. A bit less bloodware. P50 too much bloodware. This one Korean. This one is a US. Maybe you got an Indian I Indian model. Let's see now. It's take it as file transfer seal port also hmm. see no more window partition before this I got a window partition only 15 GB for Android you will see 15 GB over here but now it's I already restore back my okay to flash the bootloader use this tool flat bill first connect your cable call volume plus volume minus and power button like this call it the cable still connect when shut up when it restart keep pressing the volume plus until you see the pot Qualcomm pot connection keep pressing volume minus and vol power are holding volume plus keep pressing see now you see the this is the com Q loader 9008 right select the port correct port flat bill this firehouse I include also in the file I upload for you this is the file this is the Here, this is the BIOS file, and go to tool. Make sure you have S over here. You have S, not EMC. This is latest storage partition manager. You need to replace the two bootloader A, B, L, A and B but before that always back up the important partition X, B, L A, B A, B, L don't worry the love this one important love A and love B don't delete this thing if you delete it you can get into the passport but you can flash the stock from where alright for ABL also back up it now we're going to replace the ABL where is it you see it but I don't this is the B 
Okay, just now. There, there, there. Where? There. Yeah, ABLA. Right click, manage partition. Don't erase load image. This is the file inside LG app. This whole thing I will upload it. This is the engineering bootloader. Okay, load it. Close. Okay, another ABLB slot B. ABL slot B. Yeah. Manage partition, right click. Load image. Load this image. Okay. Close and save partition. It's saving now. Not sure. Save again. Not sure. Save again. Sorry. All right. We already press wait five second. Still in a Qualcomm QD loader. This is the EDL mod to to reboot to the pond hold this two volume plus and minus and the power buttons together until it restarts see a few seconds now we already got uh, Modified bootloader, the engineering bootloader on this LG G8X for the to enter the bootloader, your phone must be off. This one without without the bootloader, engineering bootloader LG B50 and G8X with a. Uh, Engineering bootloader power off. All right, this is without the uh, engineering bootloader with a stock bootloader. Hold the volume minus, volume minus, connect the cable to go into bootloader fast boot. See, because it don't have the engineering bootloader it will not boot into the bootloader it a charging mod so the g attack you already flash the engineering bootloader hold the volume minus connect the cable this is the fast boot recovery we don't have the recovery just now right now over here you can also go to the pot here the in the fast boot command you can check your device this is the device over here you can unlock your bootloader because mine already unlocked so this is the the way to unlock it Passport OEM unlock unlock not lock <laughs> device already unlock all right to boot into the EDL pass boot OEM EDL here you can flash back the your stock bootloader in case you want to repair the partition that are corrupt or whatever you do with the partition you delete it and you don't know how to restore it back so the best way is use the LG app tool use this tool this tool 
you must use the stock boot loader that you back up if you don't back up it well I don't know I don't have anything to say because I always remind back up back up back up but yet you still don't do it you always never pick up that's your fault not my problem all right thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next video now we will back to my because I'm going to flash a window maybe I'm doing a tutorial for it maybe if 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 <laughs> alright once again thank you